next is coming down. In the 1970s, it would have cost 30 US dollars per watt uh, to make a solar panel. Now, the very cheapest cost of a solar panel is one and a half dollars per watt um, from the uh, lowest cost manufacturer in China. Traditional solar cells take a broad spectrum approach to converting daylight into energy. White light is composed of many different colors and these colors correspond to different energies. Some parts of the spectrum which make up light have more energy potential than others. The energy spans from the ultraviolet to the infrared in order to make a highly efficient solar cell, we have to build an absorber that's capable of absorbing high energy photons as well as low energy infrared photons. We achieve this by having many different solar cells which are tuned to those specific colors of light. If costs can be kept down, multi-layered solar cell technology is likely to play a much bigger role in producing electricity in the future. It's been estimated that enough solar energy hits Earth in one hour to provide all the world's electricity needs for a year. It's calculations like this which have inspired some renewable energy advocates to think big. Desert Tech is a bold plan to deploy solar energy technology in the world's deserts with the potential of supplying all of the world's electricity needs. Desert Tech is a concept and the basic idea is that in desert regions like the Sahara there's totally colossal amounts of energy falling from the sky as sunlight and coupled with which there's now technology for capturing it cost effectively and converting it into electricity. Solar towers are only one of many concentrated solar power technologies or CSP. Parabolic troughs use curved mirrors to focus sunlight on a tube filled with oil. The sun's energy is concentrated almost a hundredfold. The oil in the tube is heated up to 500 degrees. The hot oil boils water which generates steam to drive a turbine which produces electricity. CSP plants have been operating in America for decades. In the case of the US plants which were built in the 1980s, they have paid off their loans and currently they produce electricity at around 3 cents US cents per kilowatt which is among the cheapest uh, form of electricity in the world today. Cheaper than nuclear, cheaper than coal, cheaper than any other fossil fuel source. Solar has a huge role it can play. The fact that it's an endless supply of energy, the fact that it's uniformly distributed around the world, the fact that the technology exists to capture it and transmit it at the moment, means that the one thing that's needed to unlock much of that really is the political leadership and will.